Hey everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. We are still working on those daily challenges. Trying to participate in 31 of them. <coughs> Ooh, blue baby. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm dumb. Remember, it doesn't matter if we die. Okay, that one exploding actually prevented us from getting hit by the other one. All we gotta do is participate, but I'm gonna try and win because winning is fun. I might do some stupid stuff we don't really quite know. Give me something good. Nah, one penny is better than nothing. And then when we get that achievement, uh, that'll be the last one we have for Afterbirth Plus. And then, uh, who knows? I'm not really quite sure what we're gonna do after that. If I'm just gonna do random runs, do dailies, we'll see. Kind of waiting to see what other people's opinions are. Maybe I will just reduce the number of hours I have to input into uh, playing games every week by three and maybe work that in towards improving the channel. I know a ton of people don't really watch my Isaac videos anymore. They've been going on forever and I completely understand. But for those of you still sticking around, I do appreciate it quite a bit. Oh wow, that spider got really close. It's always nice when people watch videos. I. Isaac is basically the game that got me into PC gaming. I know that sounds really, really silly, uh, but I picked it up in college, and I was terrible at it. it was, there was a Steam sale, back when Steam sales did more stuff than just, uh, you know, hear your sales, buy stuff for a week, when they actually did, like, that's funny, and we can use that to our advantage if I can find another one in a secret room. Ooh, mystery sack. But yeah, I picked it up in college, and... Right, it was because one of the Steam sales had a thing where you had to beat Krampus. It was beat Krampus, and you you get, uh, you know... I even, I even forget what, what it was. It was probably part of a badge. Yeah, that's back when they were doing badges, I think. I don't know, I think there's also a chance to get, like, a coupon. It was before Steam trading cards and all sorts of other stuff. Uh, it really was a long time ago. No, yeah, not that one. No, I'm talking the original Isaac, also, not uh, after it. or rebirth or any of that. It's just just the Binding of Isaac. I, I you know what? Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll, I haven't played the Eternal Edition. Good God, I'd have to relearn so many mechanics. The game has changed so much. I do remember one of my favorite things about. Uh, the original is if you were playing as Blue Baby was one of my favorite characters, absolutely one of my favorite characters because you could get this really silly thing where if you got the wafer, which wasn't all that hard, there weren't a ton of items you could do it. But if you got the wafer, deals with the devil counted when you just when you only have soul hearts and it was only characters when you just had soul hearts. Um, you basically got the wafer and the damage of the deal with the devil counted as damage not trading in hearts so it got reduced to half a soul heart so you could take deals with the devil for half a soul heart uh, but there were all sorts of other weird mechanics too like if you actually tried to trade in more health than you had to deal with the devil you'd end up with no hearts and you'd end up dead you could actually have no health it was technically possible I'm not saying it was wise, but it was technically possible. And if you ever got, if you got hit, it was basically like having half a heart. Except for if you acquired half a heart, you still had half a heart. And if you ever, like if you ever got hit when you had no hearts, you died. So, it was just, you know, you had to actually get a whole heart before that changed. Because if you have half a heart and get hit and have no hearts, it suddenly, like, it didn't become a valid amount of health to suddenly have. It's just a weird case that you could end up at. And it didn't know to just kill you. Whereas that does happen now if you trade away all your health. There were some really weird things. Since it was coded in Flash, which, oh my god. Like, I don't even... I don't want to know how much effort that took. Okay... Not not a particularly great floor for us. But yeah, that was a long time ago. A lot of mechanics that have changed and that I would have to relearn if I were to do the Eternal Edition. But maybe that's something worth trying. I don't know. 
it could very well be that that's the way to go. Oh, nice, Mystery Sack, giving us good things. Okay, so that, that tooth is what we get. Good, bombs are very good. Oh, holy light, I like holy light. Supposedly not even luck-based. But that's kind of beyond the point. I definitely want to hit up the shop if I get the chance. Oh, nice tinted rock. But yeah, that's why I picked it up. Is because I had to beat Krampus. And let me tell you, I played it and I sucked at it. It was really, really bad. I had no idea what a roguelike was. The whole thing, like, didn't make any sense to me at all. And I remember there was Cheat Engine, and that's how I did it. And I, I, to this day, I feel guilty about that, but I used Cheat Engine to get, to get that achievement uh, in order to get the merit badge or whatever it was that they were doing at the time. But, for whatever reason, it stuck with me that I played it, and I remembered, I was like, man, that game was, it was fun, I was bad at it, but it was kind of fun. And then, right after I left college, like, that, that was kind of the advent of me playing games on my computer a lot. Like, I had a computer for school, and it was that, it was like the same kind of time frame as all that. Which, I mean, I don't know, I think it worked out pretty well, to be honest. Because then after college... Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can really do in there. I'll pay the, pay the one cent toll to see what's in there. I'm not gonna pay the, the heart toll for the... deal, or for the room just yet, because we do have a devil deal coming up. We're guaranteed this devil deal, we can't take red heart damage. Yeah, after college, I started watching Northern Lion play, and bam! Suddenly, I was like, oh man, this Isaac game, and I started learning the mechanics, how it worked. You need to calm your ass down. That was perfectly timed beam of light. Two perfectly timed beams of light. And the rest is history, I've been playing it all the time since then. There we go. And I got really good at it. The damage is nice. Okay. Oh lord. I forgot that that reduced us down. But we got nine lives now. So that's good, but we're, unfortunately we're gonna be doing angel rooms probably. But since I've got nine lives, I will go ahead and check out the curse room. So that, that was one reason to not pick up the meat. Things. Oh my lord. Things I will remember for next time. Makes me think we got like Guppy's tail in here or something. I just want a key. Now I can get into the shop. And on the next floor, too. Now, having bombs would have been nice because secret rooms, but quite honestly, there's no good place for a secret room on this floor, so I really wouldn't try for it anyway. Um, I cannot resist mom's key. We get two keys and all chests are better. The battery would be nice, but quite honestly, it's not that important. We'll be using Guppy's head every room because extra DPS is always appreciated. I love the little key sprite that we're carrying around now. But 
Yeah, I do totally still feel guilty for cheating on, on that achievement. Because Krampus is easy. Krampus is easy. Oh well. Live and learn. I, I'm pretty sure I cheated on a couple of their achievements too. That I was doing for that. Some of them had just had save files. Forget exactly how Cheat Engine worked in, in terms of making Isaac do the things you wanted it to, but. What the hell is this? Bad gas. Eh, not bad. I mean, technically bad, but. Dang, that bully tier missed. Okay, this is where we need some holy light action. Wow. Okay, there we go. Oops. Okay, that room is going to be hell on wheels, and I'm probably going to die in there again. So I'm going to go back and try and get some more health. Or a bomb. A bomb would be super valuable here. That's unfortunate. Some flies would be useful, though. If I can... kill stuff... at range... I'll have a bunch of flies for that room, and hopefully I will survive. I will survive! Those spikes, man. Every time. Oh, thank god it's a balls of steel pill. I do not like this room at all. We're still almost dying. The fatties are just getting in the way, the stone fatties. We can carry two things, so the speed up will be appreciated. not quite what I was hoping for. Yep, not ideal, but at least we know where everything is. Fuck off, giant fat bat. I want you to die. I don't want to be that close. Shielded tears might be a mistake. What I want is jumper cables. Jumper cables would be very good. Increase our chance for a double deal. I don't really want bogo bombs. We're gonna be able to cover our own ass, but it's gonna make it harder to kill enemies. Okay, the first beam of light kind of almost screwed us. Splitting all the flies like that made it almost impossible to deal with them. But the second one saved our butts. So, I guess it all balances out. This reads secret room like nobody's business. Sure. 
Now, I'm going to be a little sad if, of course, we do silly things like get a devil deal and trade away the health that we just got, but... Ah, still managed to snipe me. Piercing tears are basically going to be our priority. I will die multiple times to get those because those are going to be super worth it. Okay. I'll take the halo as it is in all stats up. I could bomb that, but that's okay. Yeah, we got everything we wanted here, so let's continue on. Alright, what do we got in our... Uh, that could be tempting, actually, if I find myself in need of resources. I will still be looking to trade my life for deals with the devil stuff, because... Deal with the devil... Has better items in it, still. Like, even Godhead wouldn't actually really help us here, because our tears could still be destroyed. Okay, do I want... Ah, damn it. Poison Tooth. I think I want this, because there's a chance that I get Tiny Odd Mushroom, which is super good for me right now. I want tears ups more than anything so that I can put out tears faster than enemies. Because if, even if my tears do tons of damage, only one enemy tear will make them go away. So you want a lot of tears over just a few. On a positive note, the Holy Light tiers look absolutely stunning. Oh, the D1. Um, I don't think this will. I don't think it. It does. It just duplicates one of something in a room. But if every charge I use, I don't think this is gonna be worth it. It's my guess here. I think we're gonna want the damage from Guppy's head, well, from the flies specifically. But the holy light tears look like the bubbles filled, the shielded tears filled with something like. I don't know, dishwasher liquid. But they're just like slightly glowy. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it reminds me of. It's something from like a movie, I think. I could be wrong. Here, you little dip. That was close. Yeah, if I duplicate a bunch of batteries, I might be able to, like, duplicate a bunch of soul hearts somewhere. Ooh, well. Or, like, a dime. That would be ideal. Well, I'm picking up the habit, for sure. I will want the, the, the belt, because I think after this, I'm going to be going... Like, I'm going to be looking... Ooh, hello. I'm going to be looking to go for... Oh, I'm running low on keys, actually. Come to think of it. Sorry, I keep losing my train of thought. Like, a lot. I I didn't duplicate that. I think you can duplicate chests, but I don't know for sure. I'll have to try it. Wait. Oh, that's where I missed it. I was like, I thought I went back because there was a dead end. 
No, I went from a big room to a big room, so I would exactly charge the D1. I will do this because I'm dumb. I don't remember what this does. Oh yeah, a little harbinger. See? It was all worth it in the end. I wasn't going to D1 uh, D that because it, just, it wasn't worth it. Well, now I can go forward. Uh, yeah, I can go on Liberty Cap. Alright, despite my better judgment. Oops. I do not want to deal with the devil now. We've taken everything they've gotten out of it, but I can only I can only play the luck game, unfortunately. Gimpy. Gimpy has almost, has basically already paid off. I can basically just fight these guys one on one. 1v1 me, bro. Oh man, that's a delicious tinted rock. We do have to be careful, we now have an explosive fly. So I could duplicate that nickel. Or something along those lines. There are a lot of potential secret room places here. Wow! And a dime. Well, we got that range up that I was talking about. That I was thinking about. I don't even remember if I said anything. I was in the middle of a stream of consciousness thought, and I don't know if I actually got so far as to mention the fact that our range was a little bit worse than I want it to be. Alright, Necropolis. As I say, we did not get our deal with the devil there, which means we have a better chance of getting it this floor. Challenge room with two stone chests is worth it. Stone chests tend to be good. These were a little bit underwhelming. So we can 1v1 these guys, so... We actually fire faster than they do. Which means, as long as it's only one, we can take care of it. Wait. That's a different color fly than I'm used to. I don't... I thought Pestilence was a different color. That's well, unfortunate we took a hit there, but... Um, honestly, I don't know what prayer card really buys us. I think it gets us a soul heart next floor. Because any HP up that little baby gets is just, you know, whatever. Again, and again, I will take it. Succubus is amazing. It bounces around, dealing damage in the darkened area around it that you can see. And also, you'll notice that our, our damage stat changes. We get a 1.5 damage multiplier while we are in that black ring. I'm probably going to die on my way out of here. Paralysis. Yeah, we're going to die on the way out of here. So actually... Unfortunate, but not the worst thing in the world to have happen to us. Come on, buddy. Okay, this room will be challenging, but not too bad. Luckily, our light, our beam of light. Judgment. Give me something good. I should wait for this scene. Wait to see the shop on this floor, but. 
does not qualify as good. We'll talk later. So one's invisible and one's like the, the holy uh, version. I say, luckily the holy light shot killed the knights like right away. That was close. Also, it's interesting that we have different variants from different champions. I'm a little surprised I managed to pull that off and not getting hit there. I don't know why I thought there was a door there. I just kept going like, that room, don't want it. Mom's key makes me want to do this. Charged key, very nice. We traded a bomb for two keys, basically. Not entirely surprising. We have greed in the shop. Now we have way more money than we could ever need, which means that I'm definitely glad that I popped that judgment card. I'm a little worried about all these fires. A couple almost got me there. Multiple times. This is Necropolis 1, so this is probably the boss fight. Yeah. This is Necropolis 1, right? Yeah. Fuck you too, bloat. Oh gosh, I didn't even notice the damn eyes. Now, luckily, we have some very dedicated staff working uh, to help me kill the bloat here. Unfortunately, that didn't count. Double active. Okay, that's good. I do want to see the shop. I would like to pick up at least one soul heart. We're probably going to get super greed on the next floor. Oh, good lord. I'm not messing with that. It has a chance to double your money. Golden key is nice. Or not double your money. Double the items and like consumables, pedestals, everything in the room. Or it can just turn them into a coin. Judgment. Yeah, we're not fucking with that. Also, pro tip, don't <laughs> don't use a question mark card when you have Oh wait, there's a soul heart in here? Nice, okay. When you have the blank card... Whoa! That was bad. When you have the blank card, don't use the question mark card. Well, unless you want to go to the IMR room. Because that's where you go. So, I mean, if that's where you want to go, go for it. But, otherwise, don't do that. I have experimented with it more than once. To my own sadness. I want to get them both. Okay, we're not quite fast enough to just run with that. So many keys. I do not want to blow him up because I do not want to get the deal with the devil. I'm probably going to get it, but so be it. That's just the way it'll be. I've already been to the shop, what am I thinking? Very nice. 
We'll use the Empress card on this fight and keep the question mark card. Things I did not know. The room stays the same. Oh, well, that's annoying. Oh, I didn't use the Empress card. I thought I pressed it, but... Unfortunately, we got our deal. So... That's unfortunate. Double active could become very, very useful in the future. It might not, but it very well could also. More than the Empress probably ever will. Yeah, it's just an HP up, which is a soul heart. Fantastic. Nothing in there, really. Curse of Darkness is slightly annoying. Because it's a little late at night and my eyes do not want to deal with this shit. But I will endure. Uh, I'll trade a bomb and two keys for this. Why not? I've got so many freaking keys. Sack of sacks! Eh, I don't need the bomb. Alright, it's a key for a bomb. I suppose it might be worth it in the current situation, but... Wait, I... I framed that. It is possible to get in and out of this door without taking damage if you're on the perfect pixel. I think. Because I definitely just did it. Oh good. A normal shop. I like the starter deck. Burkano, okay. A was. Crap. Do not want to do that. Do not want to hit that. Uh, BFFs? Hell yes. That is some giant BFFs right there. It's not Hive Mind, but it's still pretty darn good. Ace of Spades converts everything in the room. Oh gosh, I could do some stupid stuff and see what those cards are, maybe. I don't really want to, though. Whew. I'd like to see our item room, please. Oh, boss challenge room, you got anything good to offer me? Yes, you do. With mom's key, this is basically... Like, I can't not do this. Oh, that's what I was looking for. The callus will let us safely check out what those are. Since I don't have flight yet, it's one of those things I am interested in. Um, we have max speed, so I can just ignore. I don't need uh, the goat hoof anymore. I have not gotten hit by a brimstone spider yet this game. Oh gosh darn it! Thought that one was one of mine. I don't know what the hell just happened. Oh, I had an explosive fly. That's bad for me, but... Gotta actually keep an eye on that. I believe, it, is it war that gives us those? Oh, well, this is good. I'm still on the, uh... Nice, on the vertical coming through the door since I didn't hit side to side. Well, now we've got a secret room detector. Okay, so that's where the secret room is. You can tell Navi's just heading straight for it. This is why we did not have greed in the shop. Because he was here and you can't have more than one mini boss on a floor. Fantastic. 
use this to build up our army of flies. I don't need the money. I really don't. So I'm just going to save the bombs. Use the bombs in the shop. I don't want... To oh, wait. I love calluses so much. I do not actually want to bump into that. I almost did. Callus will be really good. Wait. Oh, yeah. I did find the item room. I'm a dummy. I'm still looking for the item room. Alright, well. We'll head to the shop. Blow up the reroll machine a couple more times. After picking up soul hearts. We got the money to pick it up, so I'm going to, but. Let's see, it was literally useless. Battery stores energy. It's not particularly useful to us right now, but it could be. Uh, restock is fun, though perhaps stupid. It will let us buy a bunch of soul hearts. At three cents each. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Do not want the Empress card. All right, that was beautiful. We are looking really pretty right now. Two spades doubles our spades. Ace of diamonds turns everything. I said doubles our spades. I meant doubles our keys. Ace of diamonds turns everything into money. We don't need money, so. Did not really intend to do that, but it worked out, I guess. This is Blue Mom. Blue Mom is relatively passive. So we are going to the devil, but we do not have to go any further. In fact, we won't go any further. The run will just end. So I will take the Polaroid so that we get our invincibility whenever we are hit. Curse of the Blind isn't all that big of a deal. Please die. We have an explosive fly, so I have to be a little careful here. Could just Emperor card. Fuck it. Taking home the bacon here. BFFs does an amazing job. Experimental treatment. We lost some shot speed, but other than that, everything else is amazing. Demon Baby is really good. Curse of the Blind did not kill us here. It did not hurt us. It was probably unwise to do, but you know, whatever. I was really hoping to become Guppy here, but... Wow, I actually had to side strafe into that. Lover's card isn't actually useful to us. There are no Tinted Rocks in this room. Thank you, Navi. Come on, Monstro. Another Cards Against Humanity. Whew, that's a little close. Oh, come on, game. I was kind of expecting a giant sack game after, or like after we saw the uh, mystery sack. I was expecting all the sacks to drop. Out. 
Oh, Loki's our last boss. I'm not even worried about Loki. Not even a little bit. Just machine gun him down. So the dice shard's really good. Cards against humanity's not really doing it. Sack of pennies I should probably reroll, but whatever. Okay, so that was a dead end. That's good to know. That means to the right is the way. Did I actually get hurt there? I don't know. I can't tell. I don't remember exactly how much health I had, so... Fantastic. Give me a soul heart and lift me lift this stupid curse. Stupid red poop. But we get that nice invulnerability that I was talking about. Oh, there's two polycephaluses. Don't know if that was Gimpy or the polycephalus. So much stuff. All right. The sacks is are really awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, we got the compass effect here, so we want to go up. We've got a library, um, which I, depending on the library, would contemplate. Dang. doesn't help us here but it does give us an extra we have a reroll here oh my gosh we have a golden key so it doesn't really matter so we're gonna get bookworm here uh, I will be dice charting this Um, this is actually a hard choice between Book of Belial and, uh, Guppy's Head. It's actually really, really hard. I think I'm going to go with Guppy's Head, though. It's more, cons like, consistent damage output, and batteries that we find are still useful. Like, Book of Belial can't be used multiple times in a room. So, like, it doesn't really matter after a certain point. But with batteries, I can just crank it up. Plus, our damage is decent enough. It's not amazing, but it's decent. That's all you can really ask for sometimes. Ooh, black rune. Is good. Black rune is very good. Let's you consume all the items. So basically, you can turn useless items into stats, and this includes used items because it's not the void. Bookworm is really going to help us out here because it's going to let us fire twice as many tears and block twice as many things. We can go to the void. I don't know exactly how that works. Fuck it. Void's more exciting than Satan. I don't know if I've got a delirium killing uh, run here. Oh my god, I forgot how big this is. I did not see that bomb. Gosh darn it. Yeah, my damage might not be uh, quite what is necessary here. Oh gosh, hello. Wow, a second black rune. Sure, let's run with it. Can convert to. Oh, I have, I have callus. <laughs> Ah, ha, 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 you stupid gravity stone. Suck it. 
I totally forgot about that. Go. Oh, that's what was left. It's like exactly where we wanted that to be. So the damage is good. That was bad, but you know. Sorry, one of these looked like a tinted rock, like a lot like a tinted rock. We have an explosive fly. Oh my gosh, a third black rune? Well, if I get any range ups, I know what I'm gonna use on them. Yeah, seriously. As I said, I honestly have no idea if we could beat Delirium. If, if this is him, I do not know. I'd say we'd have a decent shot, but I don't know. It's the gate. I don't need 10 bombs. Say so we got damage and shot speed. Hell yeah, I'll take damage every day. This is a really linear void so far. Oh, that's why we skipped a room. Oh, we got the world, so this will be a little bit easier. Though we still won't know which of these is delirium. We will definitely... Ow, oh, damn you. Well, definitely glad I picked up the pool rid then. Okay, I lied. We're picking this up. So Pyromaniac means that we would heal if we had red hearts, but it basically makes us immune to bombs. That is very good for when we get explosive flies, and also just in general. Lots of stuff explodes, turns out. Bomb immunity is one of those things that is generally hard to come by and also generally pretty valuable. See, but 25 cents, completely useless. Damage and luck. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It also turns drops on the ground into flies, which is helpful. Oh, that's right. There were two two hearts. Alright, I actually can't stand the map being that big. We already went to the secret room. Okay, there's like no reason for us to be over here. I'm trying to stay in the uh, Incubus's damage up range. But it's not too big a deal. That is a very long and winding path. Ah! Game, calm your shit. Seriously, we just cursed the maze like four times in a row there. In the same doorway. Well, that's how we get a soul heart. Oh, that's right, we're immune to explosions. Joker. It really doesn't matter which of these I have. I'm not going to use either of them. Really, game? On the positive side, we're guaranteed to be able to avoid it because this room is three tiles wide. And this room no longer scares me. As I can just walk into the explosions. Man, I love Pyromaniac. Tower's now a great card to have. Bring it. Double our bombs. We do not have to worry about bombs basically ever. We don't have red hearts, so we can't really reap the effects of having that many. But it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. I like the extra luck. There is a tinted rock. You know what I'd like? I'd like the small rock. 
That's a lot of stuff. We still got a soul heart out of it. That's why mom's key is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at that. Oh, and another luck up. I don't... I said, I don't think the beams of light are based on luck, though I am... I feel like I'm firing more than I used to. Another luck up. We've had some really interestingly high luck runs, like, without doing stupid shit, like finding a luck uphill and placeboing it as much as possible. Like, avoiding, like, not even close to that. It's just weird. Another luck up? Sun's not actually useful here. Oh, I don't even have to worry about the, the shots that he shoots out. I still have to worry about the lasers, but everything else... Um, you know what? That's pretty good. The Trinity Shield is is pretty darn good. We do only have one black rune left, so... If an item's decent, I'll want to take it. Oh, you're the assholes that don't stop. I shouldn't have blown that off. I should have played it. I've got high enough luck. I could actually have made out on it. There's no item rooms, that's just a teleport. I do not want to teleport as I am in the right place. And I could move very far away. Blast assist, a boss you do not see very often. But we will go ahead and take the pieces. What the hell is with the angel? Like, I mean, sure, I'll take it. It's kind of like a mini mom's knife. Got 99 cents. Go nuts. Don't drop a troll bomb or I'll be very mad at you. Did you just drop a penny? That's a card. No, you dropped a troll bomb, just not in the way that I expected you to, so I suppose I can't be too mad. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to the tower still in the black rune. I should have black runed the box, come to think of it. Well, luckily that explosion did not harm us. Yeah, we'll black rune that. I can't possibly make use of that. Tears up, luck up? Sure, why not? This could be delirium, it might not be. We got a 50-50 shot at this point. Ah, you almost got me. Or you almost didn't get me. Take advantage of that poor invincibility. Let's go ahead and drop the tower. I didn't expect it to do anything. This room's very big. Oh, also, we're immune to the mom stomp because it counts as a bomb, or it's coded as a bomb. However you want to look at it. it or sorry, an explosion. I shouldn't say a bomb. Is that bloat or is that peep? We are taking a decent bit of damage. For some reason, I thought... There we go. The beam of light does a lot of damage here. We are taking a good bit of damage, though. Which is unfortunate. Trinity Shield just absolutely shits on some of this. Not all of it, mind you. Anything that comes in at an angle is kind of a crapshoot. Why are you still alive? We are getting a little low here. Oh my gosh, the, the curving. I, I have to give it to him. The curving of the bullets is what makes this fight non-trivial. I actually almost find this easier to fight in. He lifted up and just didn't go anywhere. Uh, the little horseman thing is kind of fucking with me. Like, I gotta admit that one. 
I should have gone back and grabbed the chariot. Are running a little low on health here. Oh well, we're probably gonna die. I didn't see that coming. Woo! I'm I'm having trouble following all of his attacks. If he does anything that Stomps that isn't mom's. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, well. Oh, God, we have nine lives. Oh, God, we have nine lives. Oh, sweet Jesus, we have nine lives. Okay, how am I gonna deal with this? Um. Is there a way to make this work? Don't think so. Okay, Alges is a good start. Got a lot of money, don't know what to do with it. I don't think we're gonna get anything useful here. The Blank Rune could do some really great stuff. It's hard to say though. You know what? I have no idea what happens if you use the Bible on Delirium. I have absolutely no idea. I have a feeling you explode, but I don't know. Nope. Jack. Nothing happens. So I need to find a way to not die. We do have some rooms that I haven't cleared yet that I think I'm gonna have to go take a look at. If I want a shot to do this. You're kidding me. Oh, we got another blank room, so there's that. Gotta look for tinted rocks. I don't think there are any that I've missed. I was pretty thorough. The game's having fun with the curse of the maze and switching things around, so just let it have its fun. Oh, I don't actually want the Bible. Okay, we have two Alges rooms. So here's the funny thing, and you can define funny as questionable here. I can walk in, drop both these Algis runes, and then die, and then come back. Judgment. Not what I was hoping for. Dang it. Oh, I don't have very many lives left, so... We don't have a gravity variant, which is what messed it up last time. Shouldn't pick that up. Not really relevant, though. Blasting cap gives you a chance when you use something for another one to drop. Could be very important with the algae's runes. Yeah, if I walk in, drop the algae's runes, come in with a chariot card. Game, come on. Calm your shit, please. I don't have time. I mean, I do have time, it's just I don't want to deal with it.
Unfortunately, I picked up that black heart and I should have saved it, which means I guess we're going for the double Elges. Double Elges strats. We have not found the top secret room. I don't think we will. We could be here for a while. Actually. Okay, besides the whole left side being valid. Yeah, no, there's just a lot of surface area to cover. Oh, I'm just in the wrong place. There we go. Nope, nope, I want to be over here. The map doesn't connect up there, which messes with me. It messes with me quite a bit. Because I expect it to, but it doesn't. I'm a little sad that the Bible does absolutely nothing there. Do something a little bit on the weird side. This might not work. Oh, dang it, I hate that. Oh, come on, game. I'm trying to get a win out of this here. Now I got a chariot card in there. Oh my gosh. Game, you really need to calm down. So now we got a chariot and two algas. Which could be enough. It's feasible. It's unlikely, but it's feasible. Since we can't get this other chariot card in there. Whoops. Where's the other beggar? No, seriously, where the hell's the other beggar? Eh, whatever. Not worth it. Alright. I don't want the demon tail. Okay, for a second I thought it took me a really far distance. Luckily it's been kind and hasn't dropped me too far away. Alright, we're going to open up with the algae's room. Actually, no, I really should wait. Because his patterns get more erratic later on. Bullshit. Oh, I forgot. Dang it. I have the Bible. Now oh, we're going in on this one. Gotta be very careful to watch that shield. and the pop cap did not trigger. So we're probably gonna die here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it.
are immune to bombs, but I don't want to mess with it. the charge. Okay, that was dumb. Ah, uh, we still have one life left. I'm not going to be able to do it from here. We do have a chariot card, but we saw how far that got me before. It could give me a soul heart. Didn't think about that before. I think that's what Popcap does. I could be completely wrong. Oh, no, never mind. These can't give us little hearts. Oh, whoops. I didn't even see that spider. Alright, so we didn't win, but that's okay. We decided to go for the harder, harder route, and it ended up not paying off for us. I made some pretty bad mistakes. I think if we had played a little bit smarter, we could have won on the first try, but we got really, really close. I, I consider that to have been stolen. Uh, because he just landed on us, and yeah, you basically have to keep moving, and I wasn't moving. So I guess arguably, still pretty much my fault. But, but, it was a pretty good run nonetheless, so I'll take it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I have no idea how many dailies we have left, but I'm pretty okay with it. So I'll see you next time, and until then, keep your gears turning.